Are you conversations? We back, big baby. You heard me. It's your favorite family member, man. You know we talking that talk. You know what I mean? Got my big dog on here with me today. Jay Jesus, the legend. Come on, man. They know that jumper wet. Legendary, my God. Let me get my family on here, man. There we go. You know I got you, big dog. Say less, Rain. No, I got you, champ. You feel me? We're coming off fresh drops, man. All colors of everything. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know my family to tune in and tap in with me. Uh-huh. Feel me? Yeah, you know we doing KIU conversations for my family where I chop game with my real partners, players, family members. You dig? Wait for my guy Primo to tap in. There you go. There you go. Come on, man. Let my let my peoples in. You heard? They hating on us right now, but they ain't gonna stop us. I didn't let them in. Come on, man. Let my peoples through. You know what I'm saying? What are you doing? Oh my God, yeah. Hey. Let him in, man. They trying to stop the players, man, but they ain't going to stop us, man. You know he's going to make this thing shake. Oh, they hate. I'm going to let them try it again. Big brush in the ad again. I don't know what they doing. They ain't going to stop us, though. That's what they ain't going to do. Yeah. K.I. You know what I'm saying? Go get you, go get you some of that game. You feel me? For my big What's sister, you they're going champion, man. You know <laughs> what it do, baby. What you doing, family? Uh, you know, I'm just leaning back, man, like Mac. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like as we do, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you for um, chopping game with me, man. Sitting down. Uh, um, I, I, I'm just trying to give my folks, my family, my peoples, they roses, they blessings, man. While I see them out here grinding. And um, making their way and shining and and just staying staying aggressive about their dreams and their goals. You know what I'm saying, big bro? You know we gonna keep it active, man. You know what I'm saying. So you know I, I couldn't overlook you. I see you grinding every day, man. And not only today, but you've been grinding and been relevant for a long time. So I thought it was a must that I tap in with you and get a little bit of your story. You know what I mean? I got a story to tell. <laughs> straight up, straight like that. So um. Tell them, t t tell them where you grew up, big bro. Well, I grew up in San Francisco, Hunters Point. You know, I, I represent the whole Hunters Point. You know, before it got chopped down, before we, you know, before we put them in, you know, chopped them down, put them in packs, put them in turf, this pack and this turf. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, my representation is the whole Hunters Point. You know, I'm a Frisconian. Uh, you know, from Hunters Point, I represent the whole Skull Town, the whole Frisco. So, you know how it go. Yeah. Um, my, my my roots is right there in the point. Third Street. You know, I grew up um 
you know, Shoreview. I started from Shoreview. And then, you know, we went on down to Bishop Kona. I went on down to Bishop Kona. You know what I'm saying? Well, I was raised, with, you know, with, with, my, with my grandmama and, and about six more other of us, you know, seven more people, you know. Okay. Boys and girls. One one girl, my sister Janelle, you know. So, yeah. Cut. I'm a real Fredonia, man. Mount Zion. Mount Zion Hospital, man. Frisco. Yeah. You know, <laughs> two, you know what I'm saying? Pioneer in this game, you know. Straight up. It's crazy how small the world is. world is. We were talking today, and, you know, I went to school with your little brother and your, and your sister, you know what I mean? Almost all our lives. You did? Yeah, old Mr. 1500 Athletics, you know what I'm saying? The one who put that work in, showing showing how to, how the world, how to get fit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's, showing, he's an example of Supreme Evolution, you know what I mean? Straight up, straight up. Um, he wanted, he, you know he wanted an upcoming guest, man. I got to get him on here. Oh yes, we're gonna make sure you get on that. So d describe, describe. Uh, you said that you grew up with like six or seven other people in the same house. Describe how your household was growing up, big bro. You know, we had four boys in the house. You know, what I'm saying one of the boys being my little brother. You know, what I'm saying, and then uh, uh, one of the girls being my little sister. You know, Janelle. You know, my little brother Ray. You know, then you know, you probably know Nat and Wally and Richie Mo. Mm -hmm. You know. What I'm so we all come from the same same uh household, you know what I'm saying, same roof, you know, fed same way, brick, same way, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, uh, cut from the same cloth, you know, uh and uh we just was uh you know, we we was raised uh I, I come from Shoreview from from Shoreview to down there to Bishop Conan. Mm -hmm. You know, it's gonna always be rough in the hood, you know. Uh but no matter how rough it is, you know, it always was good. You know, it's always good in the hood, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Coming yeah. Up, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Get a lot of love, you know what I'm saying, from, you know, the G's and, you know, people that, you know, respect your character, you know what I mean? What um what schools yeah. did you go to, big bro? Uh, I went to my junior high. I, I went to Charles Drew Elementary School, Charles mm -hmm. Drew. You know what I'm saying? That's where a lot of us was rooted from, you know. You know, you'd be surprised of a... Uh, a lot of the people who went to Charles Drew Elementary School. Right. Then, um, and then I went to Herbert Hoover. I was supposed to go to Pelton. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up going to Herbert Hoover. And uh, Herbert Hoover, you know, I got a whole other generation of film old people and, uh, uh, you know, just got a whole new mm -hmm. feel. You know, I was rooted in uh, from Shoreview. They put, they had us at Shoreview over in film mode, you know. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that was cool because I, you know, I got more relationships, you know what I'm saying, with some of my film old guys, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, you know, and then which which bred me on over to McAteer High School. Now. You know, I'm McAteer. You know, I'm a Jaguar. You know, I, I represent that Jaguar. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, I played a little, a little, I was in the little 15, what, 115s, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't do the, the uh, 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 uh. Varsity and the JVs with the basketball. I just I had a little fun with it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, I, I was a football player. I played football. You know, I did the PAL football. You know what I'm saying? It was I was supposed to play football when I got to high school, but I got caught up, you know, on some other activities that, you know, led me in a different direction. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Speaking yeah, of that, you know, the different, speaking of the different direction, like what year or what what grade, what age would you would you say like you started to get astray from the school and all that stuff? Uh, I think I was about 14 or 15, 14, 15. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I was 14. Uh, I was in the streets. Uh, 15, I was in the streets. You know, I, I started hustling when I was 12, 13 years old. Mm -hmm. You know, I was, a, I was a hustler. Now, when I say hustler, that means I was helping people, helping old ladies with their groceries at Safeway, putting them inside the car, getting two dollars and three dollars and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I was about twelve years old, just being a gentleman, you know what I'm saying, getting tips type of hustler, you know. Mm -hmm. I would be at the airport, I'd be at the airport, you know what I'm saying, help people with their luggage at the carts. I get a tip from them, I'll put the cart in, I get twenty-five cent or whatever, you know. Me and my boy Daryl had a little hustle up there at the airport. We come home with about fifty dollars, sixty dollars. 
you know, I'm 13 years old, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Hey, that, that was good for the weekend, you know what I'm saying? For sure. And, and then I was, um, at the same time, I would go down to Candlestick, and I, I used to scout tickets. Mm. Well, I, I was a natural-born hustler. I hung around hustlers, you know? Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, you know, I was raised by, you know, the, the big names in, in, in the city, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, highs down there, you know, you know, and um, as far as the hustle game, you know what I'm saying, down there, and a lot of a lot of people out there, you know what I'm saying, um, has has blessed me with game yeah. to share with, with the youth, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'll pop the names off later, but, you know, we, we, we'll, we'll get into it. <laughs> yeah. Um, what is it about our city that breeds hustlers? Well, you know, <clears throat> we all like to uh, like to get money. Um, I mean, so, you know, the, the people that I've uh, been encountered with, you know what I'm saying, who I've shared relations with, um, my circle has always been about people about getting money and just hustling mm -hmm. and getting to it, getting back. Um, you know, we, we had a lot of muscle strength as well, you know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of those guys, you know, Either was in jail, got in, ended up going to jail and being incarcerated, you know, uh, uh, not being here, you yeah. know. So, um, but, um, what, what bred it, the, the hustling game is like everybody wanted some money. We come from really nothing, you know, and we seeing nice things, you know, commercials, um, TV, um, it really is the, the addiction to thinking that feeling like you can get the American dream. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Watching TV, um, you know, me, it was just like, you know, going outside. And I see my American dream was the guys outside who came through in the nice cars, you know what I'm saying? Had the pretty girls, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and just able to live the, able to live the final, you know, the final life that, you know what I'm saying, that people probably ain't, wasn't able to live, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, that was, I, I was attracted to, that was my first attraction because that was the first thing I, I seen. Right. You know what I mean? Besides TV. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> my reality was outside. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. when 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 did the, the hustle transfer from the ticket scalping to the, to the little stuff, when did it transfer to, over to something a little bit more serious? Well, um, as I got older, I wanted more, you know. So that's what made it get more serious of uh, the things that I wanted to accumulate, uh, the cars, the jewelry, um, just being able to, you know, share a good time with people I love, you know what I'm saying, to be able to, you know, give them that pleasure of feeling like they got something, feeling like they ain't got to pay for it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got you, you know what I mean? So... Me being able to take care of my folks was a, a, a another um, a thing that 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 it's drove expensive. me. Yeah, it, it drove me to make me want more. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? For me to be able to provide. You know what I'm saying? For myself and my family and my friends. You know. That's right. Yeah. Um, if you can remember back. Like, what was the first serious thing? Was it a transfer to like weed, or was it, or when did? What was that thing that was like, okay, I, I, I'm in it now. I'm, I'm, I'm busting moves. Well, my first candlestick. That's when the hustle. All right, and then past candlestick, and we started with the weed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, I was the guy I had weed. You know what I'm saying? I'm slaying the weed. Got caught up selling weed, so I could speak on it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, one time I got caught in the moped, you know, I had weed all, had weed all in my coat. Uh, <laughs> you know, I had weed, I had, all, I had everything, I had what you need. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was a young buck and I got caught up for it, you know what I'm saying? I did my, I did, you know, what I had to do for it. That's why I'm able to speak on it. Yeah. Um, and, um, yeah, man, we used to run around Third Street. You know, back in the '80s, you know, I was I was one of the younger dudes in the '80s who was, you know, who was getting to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. And, 
and we, we had a lot of fun back in them days. That's when it was all Hunters Point, yeah. you know. And then we we um and then, you know Sunnydale used to come on over. You know what I mean? We used to embrace them and they come over. They come hang out. Yeah. At um uh, down at the Taco Joint, Taco Joe's, or uh, 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 Mr. B's. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, at TikToks, you know what I'm saying? You hang out down on TikToks and blow one, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. With the fact, you know, you know, you know, and then you know things change, but you know, but those were some good times. Right. You know, good times, you know. I got a lot of loved ones on, on that side of Sunnydale and uh, you know, Lakeview. Um I, I used to be able to go to Lakeview, Sunnydale, uh even Filmo, you know, and hustle. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I used to check out the hustle, you know, and was embraced by some of the big guys out there, you know what I'm saying, that was doing their thing, you know, so much love and respect to all the turfs, you know what I'm saying, that's why, uh, you know, I always felt like it was bigger than uh, your, 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 your neighborhood, you know, you had to grow bigger than your neighborhood, you know, you had to grow big enough for your city, then you had to grow big enough for the Bay Area, then you had to grow big enough for the state, you know what I'm saying? Then you're going to state to state. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, but you had to grow, man. You had to know what to do to grow. You know what I'm saying? And you got to have you got to have relationships, man. You got to respect those relationships. That's what's important. Mm -hmm. you know, good relationships, young sister. You need to know that. Good relationships, man, because it's, it's people of your same cloth, your same cut of cloth from every part of your neighborhoods, these neighborhoods and your cities, the states, and it, man, we got people cut from the same cloth that we cut from, man. Straight up. You know? Mm -hmm. So it's all about, you know, being able to communicate. Communication and respect goes a long way. Straight up. You know? Um, you got to respect the person's soil, their ground, you know what I'm saying, where they come from. You know what I'm saying? And then, um, you know, a lot of, you know, when you go to, like, to different uh, cities, you know what I'm saying? For example, just for example, I go to Oakland. I know the big guys up in there, you know what I'm saying? I can bring them a bottle or something, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I want to show respect, you know, to the guys, and then they open the door for you. That's mm -hmm. like, you got to learn, don't come in there with a chip in your shoulder thinking you the motherfucker, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You got to come in, you got to come in there showing gratitude, you know what I'm saying? You got to be grateful to be, to be even accepted, you know what I'm saying? That you even, you know, being accepted from the cloth you cut from, they accepting your cloth because they know you cut from the same cloth. Mm -hmm. You did. Mm -hmm. So bring him a bottle, man. You go to another man turf, man. Bring a big man a bottle, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you go over there, man. That's that's. Give him a cigar or something. Give him a cigar, man. You know, give him a gift. A gentleman's gesture. A gentleman's gesture. Straight up. Speaking speaking of that, big bro, I saw I saw y'all all come together and when y'all went to Houston for Stone Birthday. And for you know, people who may not know or who don't understand how many bosses was in there and how that came together and how beautiful occasions like that is, you know what I mean? For a young person like me to grow up and hearing these names and look up to all these these real stand-up gentlemen and see them come together, you know what I mean, as a real Frisco, a real Bay Area boss event, that was beautiful, big dog. And I was, a, it was a pleasure to um, even be uh, invited to a boss event, you know what I'm saying, on a, on that on that level, knowing that uh, I put my work in, to, you know, be in that position to do, to step up like that. Yeah. Um, I was, you know, to be recognized like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, we all, that's like I say, from the beginning, like, you know, how we respect each other's soil. You know, I got a lot of love for Stone, you know what I mean? And, and, and you know, everybody, anybody can't just get you out like that, you know, to a different state, yeah. a different country, you know what I'm saying, to celebrate their birthday, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, hey, just, you know, much respect. And, um, you know, it was a, it was a, it was a family affair, a family affair. It was a boss affair. It was a, um, um, I could say, able to rub shoulders with people that we need to be rubbing shoulders with, mm -hmm. and, and that love back. Like, hey, I see you, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But whatever it was, today we're on a whole another another move, a whole another level of how we 
you know, getting to the next level in life, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So um it, it was it was a you know a boss affair, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> Another one in Africa right now. You know, he, he try to he stay keeping big. Man. Yeah, he's stepping it up on him. <laughs> um, speaking of the old days, the eighties, and you know that that epic era, big dog. Do you remember the first time you saw hard? You know what I mean? Not to expose nobody and no names, but like the first year or the first time you was introduced to it. Yeah, yeah, I was about I was about fifteen. I was about fifteen years old. <laughs> OG Joe, he gone, may he rest in peace. Yeah. You know, he's a man who shake up in the hood, you know what I'm saying? He shake it up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when I see him tapping down, you know, that started a whole nother. I was like, hey, man, hold, hold up, hold up. Let me, let me uh, rewind this and let me fast forward it real good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I linked in on uh, on that and how to do that, and hey man, took I went to jail for it. Shit, talk about it. it. Talk about it, big bro. You got we got to talk about the the good and the bad. Talk about it. Oh yeah, you know I did my thing out there. You know I had a lot of fun with it. You know what I'm saying. Um, and that's why you know when you do that, you try to make sure you. Anyway, but like I say, when I seen that shit, it was it was like, man, well, you can make money like that, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. And that motion just went so fast, you know what I'm saying? I just jumped right in, and, and it just lit up, you know, it lit up like Fourth of July, you know? What <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, cash. Hey, hey, the cash game was cracking. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, my uncle was man ass, man. Yeah. Oh, real talk, man. Uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you having flashbacks while you're sitting there, big dog. I see you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, it, it makes you have to pump the brakes a little. For real, for real. But, uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, we definitely um, we got our bread out there, man. Uh, them third war hustlers out there, man. Yeah. You know, three hundred point. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that was before it even went to Harbor Road and West Point, Deep Block and LaSalle and Shoreview and Oakdale. Yeah. And Kirkwood and, uh, man, Double Rock. I mean, I could, man, we can get the name of all of them, you know. Right. But um, it was all on this point, though. And, and I, I represent, in West Point, and I represent all that. Yeah. I represent West Point. I represent Harbor Road. I represent everything behind Third Street. Everything behind Third Street. That's what I represent, yeah. you know. Um, as well as my hometown, San Francisco, you know. I got love for my for my guy. All the other districts bigger than the district. You know what I'm saying? We 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 the culture, man. Yeah. That's all about the culture, man. I respect the culture and the cloth, man. That's yeah. that's what I respect. Yeah. Straight up, big bro. Um, yeah. Transferring over a little bit. What do you remember the first song you recorded? Oh yeah, yeah. So see, be, before that, I was in the, in the penitentiary, and I used to write, and I used to be like, you know, I used to try to get in the groove. My boy Nate Banks, fly Nate the Banks. The, he used to be on the yard, you know, rapping. You know what I'm saying? He used to, you know, guys like Zoe out of Oakland. He the boy out of Oakland. He messed with Mr. Fab. He used to be out there. Yeah. Zoe was wild as hell. He rapping the motherfucker like a motherfucker. Uh, but Nate, fly Nate, you know what I'm saying? I was inspired. I used to see him. He used to be on the shit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and it just got me inspired to start writing. You know what I'm saying? And I used to write myself, come up with stuff. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, when I came home, <clears throat> her and Lou got with my, my big bro. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll get to that too. Um, but uh, I, I got inspired from when I was in jail. And the first song I ever wrote was City of the Players. Okay. I mean, I recorded. I wrote like songs before that, mm -hmm. but I didn't, wasn't familiar with the format. You know, I was just writing shit when I was up in there. 
But when I came home, I got with Kate, Katie Slaps, uh, Kevin Davis, and, and I used to always tap in with Kevin and ask him how shit sound. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Kevin, he, had, he had a good ear to the music, you know, um, him and TC. Yeah. Um, always had a good ear to the music, but I would go to KD because I grew up with KD from Kevin since we was kids, you know what I'm saying? And I, I always bring my shit to him. Hey, man, how this sound? Hey, how this sound, man? You know, so when I got the okay from him, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, I'm on to something then, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I, I bring this, bring to TC, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm on to something, you know? But I was always into the music, fucking with TC, and he had a brother named Argo, and he had a song with Argus R, 10 to, 10 to teasing, MC teasing. Let that be the reason. So that right there, <laughs> I was like, that's a game, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, this shit sounds good motherfucker. Yeah. Let me take this dude over here and let me take him to the, I, I got the rag chop, I got the 415s, I got the, the gold, you know what I'm saying? I got the shine already. Yeah. Shoot this all over. And let's see how this sounds. When I got a good buzz off that, I got the feel off of it. I'm like, man, I went to the I'm like, I can do this myself. Yeah. I can do this myself. And I got that from KD. You know what I'm saying, Kevin Davis. And you know, he gave me the okay on a lot of stuff, as well as Black Sea. You know what I'm saying? I used to sit up in the lab with Black Sea, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And, and let him hear some of my stuff. And, and, and if he gave it a go, I knew I was on to something, you know right. what I mean? Right. Hey, you could tell if, if your shit ain't fire, black will walk out the room. He ain't gonna tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, bro, I hear you. I hear you. Right. I don't feel you. <laughs> <laughs> he said, nah, yeah. man, I might not got it, man. That might not be the one. <laughs> this is not the one right here. Yeah. But if the one, he's going to stay in tune in. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's going to stay in tune in, and he's going to be like, he's going to critique and make sure you, you know, you bring that shit the right way. You bring that, put that shit out. Because, you know, he represents. You know, to the fullest, you know. Yeah. Yeah, he represents man and uh and uh much love to all my other guys who represent in the Bay Young Lot. Hey, young lot got some fire right now. It's for real. It's my you know it, for real. Now, uh you know, thought so I've been I've been running that shit back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, I've been running that RBL. This new shit just came out, you know what I'm saying? Straight up. The black came out. Uh, so y'all make sure y'all go check that out. Yeah. You know? yeah, we got fire. We got fire in the city, man. Period. Hey. Talk to him, big dog. We burn it up, baby. Much yeah. Love, hey. Much love, respect to cool nut. You man. Know what I mean? Straight up. The ball head nut. Hey, look. That the nut, the ball head nut. Yeah. That's what we rooted from the nut. Straight you know, up. Hey, I'm gonna be honest. I remember back in the days, man, I've been doing cool nut. I was like, we skate ring, you know, before, the, you know, the skate ring back in South City. But I didn't ever know that Kugna was rapping. Mm -hmm. And I used to hear, like, everybody hollering about Kugna, everybody hollering about Kugna, right? Man, who is Kugna? Yeah. Kugna rolled up on me right in front of my grandmama house. Jumped out and started rapping. He's like, this Kugna right here. <laughs> I'm like, Hey, look, I'm like, I've been showing this dude for years. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, we start hugging and, and wrestling and yeah. playing and talking crazy. You know how it is when you happy and yeah. crazy. And man, so I was like, man, that's my dog right there. Right. You know, I'm like rocking Coop, man. We used to go to Coop Nuts. We used to rock in, in Fawcett and Fresno. We used to go out there and hang out. And man, Coop was a guy who. No fear. He walking any month. Listen, when it comes to rapping, that month that the guy was highly respected. Right. Go to Crip neighborhoods. You go to Blood neighborhoods, and Cool Nut had the utmost respect. Hey, and because he'll put it down right then and there with all of them. They all his his his, his gutter flow. Yeah. His gutter flow made all the hoods feel him. Right, you know, you know, he jumped out like NWA, like hey, you know, he was the real uh, you know, you jump out with your uh, forty ounce and your old English, 
Say that again. Back, and he was that real motherfucker, you know, he shit on TV and shit. No, this motherfucker really jumping out with the 40. Oh, yeah, with the yeah. <laughs> For real. Yeah, with the 40. Yeah. I'm just saying. Cool, now much, much love. Rest in peace, my dog. Straight up, straight up, big bro. Um, talk about how how the um how it came to be with the partnership with uh, with you and Herm, which with Black Power Records. How did that come about? Well, you know, Herm, I've known Herm since I was a, a kid. Like, you know, Herm since I was like maybe 12, 13, 10, 12, 13 years old. Eight, 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 because we grew up in West Point, and they stayed. We stayed. I used to, uh, I used to grow, I, I grew up in West Point, stay on my auntie and, and uh, uh, my cousin Nap and Jamal White and them, mm -hmm. we stayed over there. We stayed right there. So we can see them right there. So I was like eight years old. So I've been knowing them that long. Then I ended up having it, um, when I got older in high school, I had a baby by his sister, Lisa, mm -hmm. um, with my, with my uh, son, Lionel. And, um, Herm always been a big brother to me as a as a youngster, you know what I'm saying? Um until and, and today, you know what I'm saying? We still hold a real, real strong, solid relationship. Um, but we got together, um, when I, I told him I was rapping when I got out the pen. I got out the pen, I used to work out at um Dean's on Third Street. Mm -hmm. At Dean's on Third Street, we had all the souls. We had Big Rob, Big Sleep. Uh, Rob knew we had a uh, a uh, uh, big uh, 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 Herm. We had a uh, 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 Kango. Um, we had a lot of. I was the youngest. I was I was the youngest. I was the baby of the group. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I was I was putting it on with the big fellas. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was able to hang with the big fellas. You know what I mean? Because uh, I'm I'm built like that. You Man. know what I mean? I ain't got to say a lot, you know what I'm saying? I have, I'm built like that. Um, humble, you know, humble. You, you can be uh, very much underestimated, you know? <laughs> but that's a whole other story. Um, <laughs> but, man, those guys right there, um, I, I got with Herm, and um, when I got the pen, he the one put me on. The Forte was popping, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we did a... Uh, uh, he did uh, the the first the first compilation with RBL and Cool Nut and um, a, a lot of big names done well that first CD. Yeah. Uh, then I got a second one. I got a second one. My first song, City of the Players. You know, fortunate for me, I was able to be on the radio. I got on the radio with City of the Players. Um, uh, thanks, Chewy. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, and Trace Dog, Trace Dog and Franzen, yeah, just gotta get them love. You know, one of those, you know, yeah. So I used to get a run on on Camiel and uh, one hundred six and Park. So my video on one hundred six and Park, uh, rock, you know, it, um, you know, Herm, Herm put me on, man. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, that that it, it done it made a profit. But it wasn't, it was like, it took too long for me to make that profit. And I, I think I wasn't as inspired, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a hustler and I like that. I, I like to get it fast. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have patience enough to wait, you know? Yeah. You know, um, it's the reason why I didn't stick in there, you know? Um, I remember when I was, um, when I really got known for rapping, mm -hmm. I used to go to I was, you know, I used to go to the malls and stuff like South City Malls, uh, Ceremony Mall, and people used to recognize me, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I was still in the streets with it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so, and people approach me like Mexicans approach me and be like, "Hey, man, you primo?" And I used to be like, "Man, you know, I was, I felt a little, you know, yeah. unapproachable. Like, hey, yeah. what, you, what you?" mean? I'm, so, I'm, I'm, I'm still out here. Yeah, for real. What's up? Yeah. So um, that wasn't that didn't go well because um, I almost I, I, I felt like I, I, it just felt like you know I wasn't I had to really let go. 
and, and, and uh, you probably need, you know what I'm saying? You probably need some fucking counseling for that kind of shit. Yeah. You know, people approaching you, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you yeah. already you know, about that life, you know what I'm saying? And you ain't know how to deal with that. Um, But anyway, yeah, that, that'll that make you react different. So I remember one time we did a show. We did a show, uh, me, RBL, uh, 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 Fote, we... We did a show, I think it was on, I think it was on uh, Oakland or something like that. And um, as I was performing, a guy knew me from the penitentiary. He knew me, he wanted to get on stage, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and he got pushed off stage by one of the guys. The guys that was on stage was like, oh, you can't get up here. This dude pulled out a gun. This dude... <laughs> He whipped out, yeah, right, and dropped his gun. He <laughs> dropped it. But when he dropped it, the whole the whole uh, spot cleared out. Yeah, like, <laughs> I swear to God, it cleared out in six seconds. I'm like, oh man, <laughs> <laughs> you know the awareness of the people was crazy. <laughs> yeah, hey, but it was fun. But that shit was no different than being in the streets, man. Yeah. You know, and I thought I was getting out the streets. Right. You know, and coming into uh, rap music, but I had to realize that I'm dealing with people that, you know, like just like me in this shit. So I, it, it got to be that. It got I got to move like that. Yeah. That ain't comfortable. Right. It ain't got to go because you don't know who the fakes is and you don't know who the real is. You can speak a, a, a fake street gang. Mm -hmm. They got, you know, it's real gangsters who in, who in the music too. Yeah. Who ain't, you pop off with that fake street gang to a real motherfucker, you don't get dealt with like that. You know what I'm saying? You don't mm -hmm. get dealt with. Uh, and you you, don't, you won't see it coming because you don't know the streets. But a real street dude Gonna, gonna, gonna get on you. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You acting this is way of life. You know, and I came from that way of life. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. So I said, you know what? Let's lean back because I really want to be in it to be a manager. I want to show, hey, I, I know how to do this shit too. I got skills, I can rap, but I want to turn this shit into me being a manager, me being able to control the environment. You know what I'm saying? Um. But I didn't. I never found. I get. I started getting caught up again and shit. You know what I'm saying? I didn't get. You know, I didn't get. You know, I didn't really get my feet really wet as much as I wanted to in that rap game. And I knew it could have been more if I would have put more into it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could. If I would have put more into it, you know, just crack down like you know, as far as how I represent the Supreme Evolution today. Yeah. Down with that, then I would have took it to a whole nother level. I, I see the results of it when I see these guys today. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When I see the RBL, when I see the, the young lot, when I see, you know, I see young juice just came home, he, he pushing the gas, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and when I see guys like, you know, I come from the two short era, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. come from the Richie Bowen Five era, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and they still keep it cracking, you know. E forty, you know what I mean? Yeah. Got my little cousin Dutch Santana. You know what I'm saying? He hot to death out here. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I can't really get it cracking. You know what I'm saying? Cause he really, you know, he fire right now. You know what I'm saying? Got to just put, keep his, got to keep your foot on the gas, man. What they say, keep your foot on their neck. You gotta yeah. It's real. Do that. And and I think you know? I think like you said too, big dog. It's um, it's making that decision to commit to it. You know what I'm saying? I think, I mean, that's a lot of artists, but for sure in, in our city, it's always a, 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 a fine line we're trying to balance between the streets and the music for our artists. And that has always kind of pigeon held us back a little bit to where we can't flourish fully because, you know- A lot of big. A lot of big. So talk about our artists, you know what I mean? Like you said, I'm pretty sure that's a lot of places too, but for sure in our city in Frisco, our artists be so caught up and then it's like the city's so small, so to do business and try to avoid the politics, it's going to mess up the business. The name of the game is this. 
separate yourself from that. You have to be an artist. You can't be an artist, the manager, you're printing up t-shirts, you're printing up, you're doing this, you're doing that. You can't be doing all that. Yeah. Now, in the beginning, in the beginning, it's one thing because you're trying to get your foot up. You know, you're trying to get up in there and let them know who you are. You got to put your, your best foot forward. In mm -hmm. the beginning, mm -hmm. after that, you have to appoint people who believe in you positions. You heard what I said? Yes, sir. Appoint people who believe in you positions. That right there, that game right there, go a long way. All right. Talk to him. Well, point people who believe in you positions. Man, they're going to take you to the next level, man. Yeah. They say, hey, all them doubters. You got to keep them to the curb. Mm. But you, you still want them to hear where you're coming from because once they get that buzz on you, because they're going to deny you at first. Yeah. Passion about, about, about putting you down. Once you once you once you get there, they're gonna be so passionate about saying, "Hey, this dude is it." Because now they it, they can't deny you now. Right, you got motion. You got motion. You you can't be denied. Mm -hmm. So don't you know what I'm saying? It's like y'all might hate me now, but you ain't gonna hate me later. You gonna like, love us later. They hate us now. They gonna love us later. <laughs> hey, look, look, look. But you're gonna pay the price though. <laughs> <laughs> Straight like that. Right back. Yeah, for that disbelief, we're gonna put some tax on it. <laughs> oh, but you're gonna pay for that. Yeah. Oh, uh, big bro, tell them how you um how you came up with the name for the clothing line. Okay, it was that was deep rooted from from my struggle. From my um from where I came from. So evolving is coming from one state to another, from you coming from the lower state to evolve. As far as just like a human life, a baby, until who we are today, we evolved mm -hmm. in that state. Um, we want to evolve in our financial state that way. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We want to evolve from, from where we come from the gutter, you know, to a, a greater state, to our best ability, evolve to the greatest you. In our physical state, um, as far as when we go work out, we want to make sure we evolve in from our physical state and our workout ability with our mental, uh, as far as being dedicated, um, as far as, you know, being a persistent, um, determined to reach your goals or whatever you want to do in life. But we know for longevity in life, you've got to have your, your health in order. Yeah. For longevity in life, you gotta watch it. You gotta watch what you eat. My motto was a part of you is what you do every day, what you eat, and the company you keep, choose wisely. Mm. A part of you is what you do every day, what you eat, and the company you keep. So whatever you're doing every day, that's who you are. Mm. You go to work, uh, you study. You do this, you do that. That's who you are. The company you keep, that's who you are. Mm. Because that's where your influence come from. You influence, they influence. You know, steel sharp and steel. Yeah. Right? So you want to be around that kind of company. And what you eat, what you put in your body. You know what I'm saying? That's important. You got the holistic guy. You got, got Showtime. You know what I'm saying? He let you know the proper vitamins to... Put into your body if you got cancer, if you got high blood pressure. Shout out to Showtime, you know what I'm saying, big bro. And um, he lets you know about his his vegan way of living. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm not a vegan. Um, I try it every now and then. But, uh, <laughs> I'm so stuck in the culture of, of uh, eating steaks. Um, chicken, you know, uh, shrimps and lobsters and stuff like that. So I'm so, you know, so stuck in the state of that fine. <laughs> but it, start, it starts with the awareness first, you know what I mean? You got to be aware of these things in order to control these things, you know, to get a hold on these things. So you have to be aware of it first, you know. Uh, you know, so 
that's 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 where I'm at with that. Um, I'm inspired. What inspired is Supreme Evolution. Like I say, is um, the struggle from where it came from to evolve from where I came from the state where I come from to sh to to be a, a a better enhanced to be a better An enhanced version of yourself. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You know, and you have to go into it with the courage and the heart and the of a lion. That's mm -hmm. what I, that's where the that's where the lion come from. Yeah, it's the courage heart of a lion. You got to chase your goals with the courage and the heart of a lion. The confidence, the strength. Be strong. You know what I'm saying. And passionate. You know about you know your prey. You know what I'm saying. Like you going your prey. Your, your prey is your goals. You know you have to be passionate about going after it. Um. You know the strength of an ego. You know, you got to be able to fly alone. Mm. You can't worry about the cheers and the insults of others. You know, people are cheer for you, people are insult you. So if you are guided by your cheers or your insults, um, you you not um guide solid foundation of knowing yourself. Mm. So know yourself first and what you are capable of doing. Everybody don't know what you're capable of doing. Only you know that. Yeah. So that's something that you have to prove. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got people. You got to show the people that I'm capable of this. You know? Mm -hmm. I, I, what's up, young lot? Salute, hey. But um, you have to show people that you you capable, you qualify, you bona fide. Yeah. To fulfill this mission. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, uh, your 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 results gonna show in your actions. You know. You know, you know, you know what they say. Don't talk about it, be about it. Man. <laughs> you know what I'm so that's that's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? Don't talk about it, be about it. Man. Yeah. So your actions, your actions, your, your results showing your work. Young flood. Hey, you know I've been I've been I've been pushing that the hop for that uh, uh street performance. <laughs> you know, we own that, man. Yeah, <laughs> talk to him, man. Flood game, man. We locked in. Okay. We starting to conglomerate around here, man. You know? Bye, man. You know what I'm saying? We go, uh, uh, let them know. Uh, if you don't know, <laughs> now you know. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Big bro, what's something, what's something that the new generation can implement from the older generation that can serve them? Um, respect your elders, man. Mm. Respect your elders. Respect the ones who came before you because they're the ones who paved the way, man. They laid down the foundation, man. You got to... It's like me disrespecting the generation before me. Like, they had a different hardship than we have. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, I was, like, we grew up respecting grandmamas and grandpas. Today, they don't do that. So... You know, you got to start first. We're respecting the elders, man. We respect your roots and where it came from. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, so, um, and then get out there and work for it, man. Educate yourself more and go put your hands on something. Mm. You know, put your hands on that work, man. Uh, you know, you got to be good with your hands. Um, you got to be good with your mind. Um, you got to know how to um, control your emotions. Mm. You know, these things are important in, in, in the life of being a man. And, you know, because we're we not emo. We, we, we see, like, when you look at the jungle, the lion and the lioness, you look at that, that lion, the male lion, he's emotionless. You, the, the female lion, she can be all over him. She can get all over him and he'd be fighting and he's still calm as hell. Like, watch out. Like, he's still, he's still the, the, the leader of the jungle. You know what I mean? He's still, he's, he's, he's not emotional. But when it comes down to really going to get to the business, he attack ferociously, effectively. You know what I'm saying? That protects the family and the finances. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You have to be that type of character. You know what I mean? You got to be able to like I say, with the ego, you got to be able to fly alone, to find yourself, to know what you're capable capable of doing, and leading in the right 
way. You got to be a strong eagle. You got to be strong. You, you know, the eagle, he don't run in packs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, he, he's strong. He flies alone. And he gets the job done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As well. So, but you got to have the characteristic when you're dealing with supreme evolution. Mm -hmm. You got to have characteristics of both. Mm. Balance. Yeah. You got to have balance and character of both. That's where you get effective growth. Mm. So when you're wearing this brand, this is what it represents: effective growth. Um, you can you can fly alone, but you can also have your lines and your guys. With, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But your line is you you dealing with when you when I say you now you dealing with lines. Now you dealing with guys who's lions. You dealing with lions, mm -hmm. so that's like still, still. You know what I'm saying? Just say, for example, you got a whole bunch of eagles. Now you got a strong pack, but you got these lions. You know what I'm saying? So everybody in that pack is strong. Y'all feeding off each other's strength. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that that's a big strong, <laughs> strong <laughs> representation. What this brand represents. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Evolve the greatest you, supreme evolution, physically, financially, spiritually. You know, we, we want to evolve in these areas. You know, what I'm saying to, to make us strong within you know each other within the culture. Um, yeah. How do you think your relationship with your father affected or molded the man you are today, big dog? But you know, my father back in the days, he you know. He, he had his, his differences, you know what I'm saying? My father was, a, was on hair rock mm -hmm. back in the day. Mm -hmm. you know and um, But he kicked that hair rock, and he ended up being a greater man after that. You know, so he was a greater man before that. He was a great man before that. And he got stagnated in between, just like all of us. We all have our mm -hmm. stagnation. Mm -hmm. and, but he, he became so much a greater man afterwards because, you know, he cleaned himself up. He was able to show love, you know, to his family that he wasn't able to show when he was in that. But me, even when my father was under that influence, like that, we had a great relationship because something inside of me was understanding and knowing how to deal with that out being from the streets. You know what I'm saying? I knew how to embrace that struggle. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, and um, it, just by being being understanding of uh, of what, what you know, what I was dealing with with that, it it made me a different kind of man mm -hmm. of dealing with it. I could have been bitter, yeah, you know, I could have been all these different things that hate your father, um, but that would have been that would have been really small of me, knowing that we don't know their struggles. Their struggles was different than our struggles. They was back in the Black Panther days, the Hugh P. Newton days. Where they throwing hair rod at these people. Our strong men was tore down from hair rod, mm -hmm. um, from pain. Um, I mean, some of our strongest men's man drugs that took them down was like they was our leaders. Yeah, you know. But the the, the good thing about it is the people who seen the good they done. The people who seen the good the the good that that they done to help was able to receive that and embrace that into themselves to produce that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, so, 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 well, you know, even when we see the downfall of it, it was like, oh man, what happened? You know what I'm saying? But we seen the good as well. Um, but you have to be a real type of true character to understand the balance. We go back to balance. You got to, you got to really, be a sharp guy to know how to know, understand the struggles they went through, the struggles we go through. Um, and at the same time, like I say, still have respect for our elders. Um, but with my father, though, um, <laughs> no, I went there, but, um, but with my father, um, <clears throat> that part right there is the part that made me strong, being mm -hmm. able to deal with this world in a different kind of way. Um, and then when he um, 
became um when he evolved his greater self yeah when he became the supreme evolution of where he came from mm -hmm. uh, i respected that as well you know what i'm saying so so we embraced on a whole nother level after that you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying yeah yeah he, he was different you know what i'm saying his spiritual was different um, his love was different. I mean, he ended up being so much of a loving type of guy, you know what I'm saying, um, that made whatever he did in the past, he's like, oh, man, okay, you know, that's all. That's best behind us. Yeah. And, uh, we see we see that you've evolved to the greatest you today. We see that you have uh, embraced um, your sober. You embraced um, your love and, and, and your character. And, 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 and sharing it with your family, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I had to could do nothing but respect that. Yeah, I respected the beginning and I respected the transition as well. You know, in the end, and I then at the end, I was the guy who was taking care of him because you know my father passed, you know, last last year in mm -hmm. August, August eighth. So I was a caregiver for my father. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. From very of uh, 2021, no, 2022, um, and, you know, and chopped that up all the way to up to his last day, you know what I'm saying? I was there, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Put my forward to make sure to give him a, 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 a more, um, what they call it, um, <sighs> a, a, more so of a better life, you know what I'm saying? Um, while dealing with is some bad times in his life. The cancer, prostate cancer. Yeah. So I say um, to my guy, man, you know, that's a serious subject for me. So go get yourself checked out. Your prostate, uh, your colon. I went and got mine last last month. You know, so they said I was cool. Um, prostate, I went and got all my checks up, checkups. I do that twice a year to go get my check. I advise, man, you know, we just, men don't like to go to the hospital. They don't want to like to go get checkups. Um, but it's important that we do so, man, because um, I got so many guys, so many, you know, who, who don't do it, and they, they die early. They die early in the game. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? 60s and they 50s, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know? And then what they say, if you reach it to 75, if you get to 75, like Eddie Murphy had this little thing on IG, you know what I'm saying? It's like you got 75 years, 75 summers, 75, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you know? And if you make it past that, you know, we used to say, we used to say 25. If you make it to 25, now we're saying 75. <laughs> My have things changed. <laughs> Big brother, time, we, we, we closing out on almost an hour, man. Um, where do you see the brand in the next three years? Um, and then tell them where they can find you. All right. Well, I see the next, the brand in the next three years is on the inspired bodies, the people who, uh, who's evolving. I want to see it on people who came from the gutter to, 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 to do better. And they say, man, I want them to represent this in, in the more, the, the strength and the passion of, making it from the gutter, like we all, the culture have, you know what I'm saying? To now, these are the results to where like these are the results of where we come from. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to see it on those bodies. I want to see it, you know, I want to see it, you know, up there with the, with, with, with Gucci, with say, Louis. I want, say it, say it, big dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, you know, it, it's all about how how we support each other too, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want people to come get my stuff, like this Gucci and Louis, so I can go back and get some stuff that they, you know, keep, keep the quality. Because my my brand is about quality. It's about style. It's about class. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, we keep we stay dripping, man. You know what I'm saying? You see my stuff right now. Yeah, yeah right. tell them, talk to them, Chip. Yeah. Yeah, I pop my collar, man. <laughs> 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 yeah man so um yeah hopefully you know not hopefully but um what i see is it being on so be inspired man um 
some of the, you know, on, on the level of, uh, uh, like I say, the higher level brands who's been around. We just got to make sure that we support each other, get it there, you know? Straight up. That's, that's what's important, man. It's yep. It, it, it. I think too. We gotta, we, we gotta just push and make everybody realize it ain't us against us. It's us against them. You know what I mean? It's us against the system, against the program, against the machine. We ain't competing against each other. You know what I mean? We networking. We yeah. brothers. We brothers in, in in the struggle. You know what I mean? And we supposed to be here to build each other up, not to compete with each other, tear each other down. It ain't no need for that. Hey, you know they used to say. Uh... The game is to be sold, not to be told, right? Mm -hmm. So, so it just it just bring me back to the slave day. Kept you away from reading, like they don't want you to read. You know what I'm saying? Um, it brought me when you when you say that, lets me know that when you get to the level like a black man, the level you don't want to the game with the next black man. It's like, are you just like the white man too? No. Because the white man read. You know what I'm saying? The white man didn't want us to learn. So are you taking the are you taking that stand just like him to not help your black man? You know? Mm -hmm. You can't point me in the right me? I'm gonna point you in the right direction. That's yes. a supreme evolution. I want to see all my brothers evolve. That's why I, I support all my Bay Area guys who you, you know, you bring that hot shit to the table, I'm supporting it. Um clothing, um podcasts. Uh, uh, rapping, uh, singing, acting. If you if you're bringing that hot, that hot flavor to the table, I'm gonna let you know if it ain't. You know <laughs> yeah. I mean? <laughs> say, hey man, let's let's get it going. Let's get it cracking, man. Let's let's get this shit bang. Let's get this thing going. Let's yeah. Bring that street performance. Let's push that street performance, man, and get it cracking, man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> shout out, shout out. Straight like yeah. that like that man so yeah man like i say a part of you is what you do every day what you eat and the company you eat you know what i'm saying evolve to the greatest you man that's what the brand represents man much love i stay humble i'm strong you know and i just want to see my people win man hey man i think that's a beautiful way to end it off big dog you know what i mean um I appreciate you so much big bro for giving me your time i know we all be busy man you dropped a lot of jewels um, I want to double back. We're going to double back and do part two with everybody. Like I always tell people, we're trying to create a network. So anybody who was on here or who you've seen on here or who you, um, or who participates in this, we are a, a collective now. You know what I mean? We're part of this KIU alumni, the Supreme Evolution. You know what I mean? And, and we suppose it will continue to build off this, hopefully, and take it to something bigger and greater, champ. Hey, I just want to give a shout out to my, my folks, uh, Latif. On that drip water too. Yeah, sure, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, get some of that drip water. You know what I'm saying? This one right here. This one right here got the purified water, electrolytes. You know what I'm saying? They got all that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's on, man. Straight like that. Tap Straight in, like man. Y'all gonna? I'm gonna have to, uh, the uh the the my my big dog um tag in there so you go get you some supreme evolution get your drip together get your mind together go ahead and get you some of these good quotes these good books man this good drip we doing it all around here man we're gonna keep putting it together don't make me pull out my book man man you already know we we, we in this together big dog you know how we rocking <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I appreciate you, big bro. Like I said, we're gonna do this again, man. It was it was an honor and a pleasure, big dog. I really appreciate you, champ. Salute what you do, man. Straight up. Love.